big news today. Stephanie Link selling hmm. Meta. Amazing. Tell us. Well, it's been a great run. It's up 185% in the past year. The stock has re-rated appropriately from 13 times a year and a half ago to 22 times. Uh, it was at seven times EBITDA, Scott, and it's now at 14 times EBITDA. So I think that um, a lot of good news is priced in. Uh, they've done a great job in, in, in turning around their revenue story. They went from single-digit revenues to double-digit. We know about the year of the efficiency. So I just kind of feel like I made a lot of money. I bought it when everyone wanted to sell it, and now everyone loves it. In fact, 90% of the sell-side analysts have buys on it now versus 50% two years ago. So I think it's time to take my, my gains and, and, and move it elsewhere. You know, I'm just wondering, what if it's just getting started? You know, um, it's been, as you said, they, they've gone through this period of time where the worst performance ever for the stock in 2022, the best performance ever for the stock in 2023, the efficiency, as, as you mentioned, from a forward P.E. standpoint, it's cheaper than its historical average, 21.3 versus 26.2. So it's not, you know, incredibly expensive, relatively speaking. And a lot of money, Steph, has been going back towards the big caps. Yeah, and so what I did was I didn't want to be completely away from the Fab 7, FANG, or any of the high-growth companies. Um, I put the money into, more money into Amazon. And, you know, I bought that late last year when we saw a pullback. Uh, that stock actually is trading at 40 times forward estimates now, which is not cheap, but its historical average is 118 times. It trades at 13 times EBITDA. Its historical average is at 18 times. I'm fully aware that people are expecting the quarter to be really good, but it's going to be really good. And so I have a little room if it were to pull back just on a sentiment shift. I, don't, uh, I, will, I will buy more, and that actually is my intention, because I think there are three ways that you can win with Amazon. One is AWS accelerates, and I think it will, based on the, the signings that they talked about last quarter. So you're going to go something like 12 percent. I think you can, in the second half of the year, see 15, 16 percent growth in AWS. We know that's one of the main drivers. The impressive part of the other, uh, the, the, the second prong is the operating margin expansion that we're seeing in the retail, North America retail. Just in the first quarter of last year, that, that operating margin was 1.9 percent. The last quarter it was 4.9 percent. And I think, and that's by the way, pre COVID, it was over five. So I think they can get to five or six, maybe even higher mm -hmm. than that. And then finally, the ad revenue piece from Prime Video, I think that's a $3 billion opportunity. So. I just I don't want to completely um, go away from from Fang, uh, but I made a lot of money in Meta, and uh, and Amazon had a nice year last year. It was up 61 percent, but I do think that there's more room left there, and so I wanted to put more money in there. And as a result, yeah, I took my gains. In Meta. Okay. Okay. Uh, so let's kick it around um, because, as you know, you know, uh, Surat, who's sitting next to me, out here uh, just off the golf course, the stadium course, uh, which he's going to be playing in, in just a little bit. You own Meta as well. I do. So yeah. what do you what do you make of this move? Um, I've trimmed it, but I still want to own it. I think it's the high quality player. They've really focused, refocused. Uh, you know, we just saw he announced he's going to buy more Nvidia chips. They're growing. They're Mark growing. Zuckerberg, the Mark, you're Mark, talking the, about the CEO. They're growing for the right reasons. And 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 when you look at kind of where they are compared to the other Mag Seven, they don't have that monopoly issue that all the others do. You get advertising income this year. You've got election year. I think you've got some tailwinds, and I want to ride it some more. I definitely agree with taking money off the table because the stock's done everything we wanted to. But I do think it might be just the beginning of another run, and then kind of I, I'm happy to take more off the table. But but I like the fundamentals here, and I don't want to sell it when the fundamentals are so That's strong. That's what we were just alluding to, whether, you know, this is because the transition that the company has made to get leaner and, and, and some would suggest right. the year of efficiency, stronger. right. Um, so, Joe, you own it as well. What's your assessment here? I love everything that Stephanie said about Amazon. Uh, I agree with the ability for Amazon in 2024 to have some mean reversion relative to the other mega cap companies. Uh, but excluding Tesla, which is the one name that I do not own, um, selling any of the mega caps in the month of January is something I really don't ever want to do again. Um, it's just when you look at the composition of the market right now and the performance of the market right now, 
I've been talking about it the entire month. It's now building in momentum. It is all about technology, communication services, mega caps, and NVIDIA and AMD. And just look where N NVIDIA is, look where AMD is, and that will tell you where the market is going to go. So I'm just not going to move away from any of those mega caps right now. The concentration of 2023, it's here in 2024 once again.